There's big breaking news coming in on the friction between India and China and Eastern Ladakh. Ministry of Defense has said that on the 8th of September, according to consensus reached in the 16th round of India-China co-commander level meeting, the Indian and Chinese troops in the area of Gogra Hot Springs, PP-15, have begun to disengage in a coordinated and planned manner, which is conducive to the peace and tranquility in the border areas. Vishnu Shom is now joining us with more details. Vishnu, what is the significance significance of this disengagement at PP15? This is an extremely big development as far as <clears throat> disengagement in the Ladakh region is concerned, where Indian and Chinese soldiers have been facing off for more than two years now. Now, it's important to mention that the disengagement that we're talking about here, and let's bring up that map uh, of the exact location that we're talking about, is one of the areas uh, where the Chinese and Indian sides have agreed. There are still large areas uh, where India and Chinese soldiers, in fact, it's a, uh, that's, uh, we don't, we don't exactly have it in, in what you're seeing. Uh, so let's try and work again on those maps so that we can actually show our viewers what we are talking about. But this is an area uh, to the uh -huh. northeast of the Pangong Lake in the Ladakh region. Uh, and um, the key point that we're trying to mention over here, this map doesn't, uh, this map doesn't really show anything. So let's not have that. Let me just explain what, uh, what we, what it is that we are talking about over here. There are several key areas. There is the Depsang Plains area to the north, where the Chinese continue to occupy Indian territory. There is the Galwan region further to the south, where there has been a successful disengagement a couple of years back, but there is a buffer zone between the two sides. Now, uh, south of that is this particular area, broadly called Gogra Hot Springs. Over here, the Chinese very significantly on the basis of the last round of core commander level talks have actually gone back by and large, we're told, uh, to the pre-2020 uh, uh, position. So in other words, 2020 is when the tension started. They're back to positions by and large in that area uh, before 2020. Now, why do I say by and large? Because remember, the line of actual control in that area is undemarcated. What we believe to be the line of actual control is not what the Chinese accept to be the line of control. And therefore, what India has always argued in these core commander level talks and other military talks is, look, just go back to where you were before 2020. And the expectation over here is that the Chinese in this particular sector may have done that. Now, if we move further south, as we talk through all of these areas, there is the Pangong Lake area further south of Gogra Hot Springs. And that is where India and China have also disengaged. That took place last year um, on the North Bank and on the South Bank of the Pangong Lake. So. With this disengagement, the one area uh, where the, which remains a huge problem is Depsang to the very north, uh, where there has not really been any movement and where the Chinese are believed to be controlling a great deal of Indian territory. But there have obviously been compromises uh, by India. Uh, the area, for example, south right. of this particular area, mm -hmm. the Pangong Lake area, both sides have reached a certain agreement. It's not exactly what India wanted. But let's, last sentence, this area, hmm. Gogra Hot Spring, what's happened today, really important. All right, Vishnu May, thanks for joining us with all those details.